sure is. You know, you see a lot of people in this airport during this time of year, and they have so many stories to tell, but the one you're about to see is perhaps the best one today. Okay, Los Angeles is number five. Amid the hustle and bustle of the busiest travel day of the year, there are many happy reunions. Most cross hundreds of miles for this moment, but this family is waiting for a reunion almost a century in the making. Planning started last summer with the arrival of this bundle of joy. Eve was born July 10th, the same day as her great-great-grandmother, a woman she's waiting to meet for the first time. It's awesome. <laughs> we don't get to see Grandma very often because she lives in Canada. The family has spent years trying to get their matriarch, who is lovingly referred to as the Queen of England, on a plane. At 90 years young, the family says she swore off traveling years ago, but then came Eve. Well, we really thought she'd never come, but, um, oh, she's here. As if on cue, the queen arrived on her throne. Edna Penn, who swore to never travel again, endured a 10-hour trip because it was all about Eve. I celebrated my 90th birthday, and the greatest gift was this little girl born on, on the same day. While this may be Edna's first trip in a long time, she says it won't be her last. But you know, the longer I've traveled the day, the better I feel about it. I think I'm just going to start traveling again. I asked Edna why the family calls her the Queen of England. Well, it turns out that Edna's birthday is about two months or so away from the Queen who, of course, also celebrated her 90th year this year. Live from Detroit Metropolitan Airport, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. Wow, we needed a bit of good news tonight, and you just delivered, Curtis. Thank you so much. Long live both queens. All right.